Oklahoma, land of steak, country singers, tornadoes, and recently, earthquakes. In the past, the average person might have felt one or two a year, but that number is skyrocketing. Last year, the state had three times as many quakes as California, and signs are pointing to even more this year. If that isn't the work of a supervillain, what is behind the shaking? America has always sat on a bounty of oil and gas, but a lot of it was trapped in a type of rock called shale. About a decade ago, techniques to extract it got more affordable, helping trigger the oil and gas boom. And today, America is number one in oil and gas. 25% of all new jobs created since 2010 all came from oil and natural gas reliance. It is the backbone of Oklahoma. Shale state economies thrived, and these days, prices plummeting at the pump. But drilling has had unexpected repercussions. See, when oil and gas get pumped from the ground, massive amounts of toxic water come up with it. To dispose of it, companies inject it back deep into the earth. Out of sight, out of mind, theoretically. But sometimes that wastewater can add pressure to existing faults, causing them to slip, triggering earthquakes. This is happening in many places, but Oklahoma is getting the worst of it. The one that hit last night was the strongest in state history. In 2011, disposal wells sparked an earthquake that damaged more than 200 buildings. The wells were not new. One of them had been active for 17 years before the quake. So even if all disposal wells were shut down today, the shaking probably wouldn't stop. That might take years, maybe decades. Humans have induced earthquakes before, but disposal wells are the biggest culprit of man-made quakes today. The oil industry says pinning all the blame on them is unfair. Those earthquakes could be natural or caused by something else. We just don't know yet. Meanwhile, water keeps getting pumped underground, even near proven earthquake zones. Maybe we should all take a hint from what's going on, as the risks of ignoring science could be seismic.